Good morning, Gilbert. Feed me, you son of a bitch. I bet today is gonna be a good day. Hey, Caillou. I'm really tired because I stayed up really late last night. Your mother is going to take you to school. And what about my ass whooping? Ass whooping? I, I don't do that anymore. Now I'm just gonna go back to bed. Oh, uh, okay. That was interesting. Anyways, time for breakfast. I want this to be an episode of Caillou Gets Grounded Without Any Trouble. Oh come on. That's not fair. You can't just put a fourth wall break in a video like that. Wait, why am I mad with myself? I'm the creator of this video. Hey, mom. What's for breakfast? You're having dry cereal because your dad left to get the milk. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. I'm not gay, mom. There's always milk in the house. Wait, what are you talking about? People only use it to insult members of the LGBT community. They do. Oh, so that explains why I kept seeing those types of comments on the TikTok live stream of the girl who had a nose piercing. Alright, anyways I'm gonna eat my cereal with milk. Are you ready to go to school? Yep. Did you brush your teeth? Yep. Is all your homework done? Yep. Is your bag packed? Yep. Is this joke getting repetitive? Yep. Alright then. Let's get in the car. Where did that sound come from? I don't know. What is this motherfucker doing? Fuck you, Honda, for cutting me off like that, asshole. My mom sometimes gets like that when she drives. Have a lovely day at school, Caillou. Alright. Bye, mom. I really really do not want to go to class today. I might as well just say fuck it and do something obscene. I don't want to create a fake lockdown. Disrespect the teacher, cause a gas leak, infiltrate the principal's office and use the intercom, kill someone, get held back, cheat on an assignment, or blow up the school. Wow, I sure have done a lot of fucked up shit. Good morning class. Take out your homework from last night. I see everyone has done their homework. Good job to all of you. So today we are going to talk about shapes. God, I really don't care about shapes. I'm so bored. Also, if you are wondering if Miss Martin can hear me, the answer is no. However, there is no way on Plotagon that Chirichi knows it can make me think in my head so this will have to do. Hey, stop breaking the fourth wall, otherwise I will break every fourth bone in your body. What am I going to do? Oh wait, I have an idea. Remember how the last thing I said was to blow up the school? How about I don't do that but instead make it seem like I'm going to blow up the school? But I'll have to do it in secrecy so that I don't get caught. Oh good lord, that was a shit ton of talking. First, I'll have to go to the bathroom. Miss Martin? What is it Caillou? Can I please go to the bathroom? Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. I know your deal. You say you have to go to the bathroom, and then you don't come back either because you want to cut class or cause trouble. So, the answer is no. You'll have to wait until class is over. But Miss Martin, I really have to pee so badly, and I'm not joking. You better promise that you will actually go to the bathroom. I promise. I will do nothing messed up. Alright, just go. But I do not trust you to go by yourself. So one of the students will have to go with you. Go to the fucking bathroom right now. No, I don't have to. Yes, you do. Why else did you come to the bathroom? Because I am going to do something fucked up. You're going to the bathroom to cause trouble? I fucking knew it. That's it. I'm going back to the classroom to tell Miss Martin. Oh no. You don't.
Ah, I'm dying. Good, he's finally gone. Now to call on that bomb threat. But first, let me change my voice. This will be the voice I use for the phone call. Anyways, time to make the call. Ha 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 ha. Hello, Plotagon Public School. This is Mrs. Green. How may I help you? Hello. This is... Uh... This is... Um... Jonathan Flinton. I am calling to let you know this. I have placed a bomb somewhere in the school. It is set to detonate at 9.30 and will go off in about 75 minutes. You better find it and defuse it. Ha 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 ha. Shit. Shit. Shit 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 shit. I have to notify the principal ASAP. Principal, someone called in with a bomb threat. I would just ignore it. It's probably some kid just fucking around and trying to make a fuss. No, it sounded real. It had a very low voice and everything. God fucking damn it. I do not have time for this. You know what, I'll let everyone know. Where the fuck have Caillou and Josh been this entire time? They must have gone and done something they shouldn't have. You know what, I'll deal with them later. I need to just get this class done. Attention, all students. This is your principal speaking. It appears as though someone called in a bomb threat roughly two minutes ago. Please evacuate this building. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Oh my god. There is a bomb threat. I better get my class out of here. Alright, everyone. Line up right now in front of the door and follow me out of the building. And if you see Caillou or Josh, bring them to me right now. A few moments later. Alright, it looks like everybody is here, except for Caillou and Josh. Caillou, where were you this entire time, and where is Josh? Sorry, Miss Martin. I guess my urethra wasn't the only thing that needed to be emptied, but my ass needed emptying too. That's kind of gross, Caillou. But that does not explain why you were in the bathroom for seven minutes. Sorry, but I had diarrhea. And constipation. At the same time. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Why is your voice so low, and where is Josh? Wait, my voice is super low? How did that happen? Let me fix that. Now, my voice is fixed. Anyways, Josh is still in the bathroom. He's constipated too. Oh, okay. Attention, everyone. This is your principal speaking. The police have been called and are on their way. Please, find the way home, or somewhere else far away from the school. This is for your safety. Get out of here by any means possible whether by calling your parents, walking away, or calling an Uber. The school will open back up again when we are assured it is safe to re-enter. Ah uh, heck yeah. We get to go home early. Fuck yeah. Well, looks like my mom is here to pick me up. See you later, Leo. Are you alright, Caillou? Yeah, I'm alright. But I hope they defuse the bomb in there. Yawn. Oh my god. Caillou totally knocked me out. I'm gonna find his ass and beat the absolute fucking shit out of him. Wait, where is everyone? There's no one in any of the classrooms. How about I check the main office? So, I assume you are here to deal with the bomb threat? Yes. Our bomb squad will be checking the school for a bomb. So, any luck finding the bomb? I swear, our squad searched the entire building and found absolutely nothing. This must have been a prank. I fucking knew it wasn't an actual bomb threat, but just someone trying to cause a ruckus. What we can do, however, 
is try to check the call logs of the main office to see who may have called in the threat. Let me check to see who called the bomb threat at around 8.18 a.m. Of course, it's blocked. We'll have to trace the number back at the station. Hey, kid. What are you doing here? I'm here because I was knocked out for a while after I was knocked out by Caillou in the bathroom. Oh, thank you for telling me, but that will not help me find out who caused this bomb threat. Well, if anyone did it, it would definitely be Caillou. He's a huge troublemaker. We went to the bathroom because I had to make sure he didn't do anything fucked up, and then he said he was gonna do something trouble. I tried to stop him but he beat me up. Alright. Thank you for this information. Hi, how may I help you? I think I know who caused this bomb threat. It must have been Caillou. He's the only person I know that might want to do this. I've already heard that once, but we need to get evidence of this first. I'm about to play the audio of the phone call, though. Although, he did beat up another student in the bathroom. That must have been the kid Caillou took with him to the bathroom. It was. Now please be quiet for a second while I play the clip. Wait, that voice is very deep. I spoke to Caillou earlier after the school was evacuated and his voice was as deep as that. No one else in this school has a voice that deep. So we already have a bit of evidence. Now, let me check the caller ID. What? What's so surprising that it needed that music sting for like the fifth time this video? We trace the restricted number and it appears that the caller of the bomb threat was indeed Caillou Anderson. I fucking knew it. I'm calling his parents right now. I'm glad you're okay, Caillou. But it would have been fantastic if you had blown up in the school. Thanks, Dad. Someone is calling. I better pick it up. Hello, this is Boris Anderson speaking. Oh, it's your teacher, Caillou. She's probably calling to make sure we're okay, right? Uh-huh. I heard about the bomb threat. He. Did. What? Uh, Dad. Why are you raging? Stand up, Caillou. Why? Stand the fuck up right now. Uh, okay. Caillou, your teacher is telling me that a lot of evidence points towards you being the culprit of the bomb threat, as well as beating up a student. Were you the culprit and did you beat up another student? Um, 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 um. Given your lack of response, I think the answer is yes. You're right. It is. Oh, 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 Caillou, how dare you cause a bomb threat? This is perhaps the worst fucking thing you have ever done so far in this series. That is so fucking it. You are grounded for 57,329 millenniums. Fuck off to bed right now. Washington wah 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 wah. Why am I crying? I totally deserve this. <laughs>